Well, there's the corn. It's doing pretty good. Kind of hard to water all the way down. But the two tallest plants, I'm going to save the cobs. Let them dry out on the vine, on the vine, on the stalk, and save those for planting next year. Because I have a hodgepodge of different types of corn. But save all the seeds. Come on. Can you see the pollen falling? Pollen falling from the tassels? Onto the silks, hopefully. I'll come out here with a long stick and tap everybody. But this is the corn so far. Getting silkies, lots and lots of silkies. But this isn't any of the colored corn. This is all sweet corn. And you can't see the, nope, can't see the pollen anymore. But this is my corn crop. And there's tomatoes down there that I'm not even going to attempt to get. They'll just go to seed next year. Well, this is corn plot number one. Well, looks like I'm not going to have any grapes. I had a couple clusters down low where I could get to them easily. Then it rained and they all split open. There's some more over there that were in bags, but the critters are chewing right through the bag. They pull the bag up and they chew right through it. Well, that was that great big long one. And here's the other one. That one had a bag on it and they ripped that off. There's some more back there, but I can't reach them. And who knows where else there are more. And I still have peaches. The one that was in the bag over here, bag and all, has disappeared. I've got these. It's funny how they only... Uh, maybe the bees only worked on one half of it. But they are decent looking peaches. The way I tell if they're ripe is just give a gentle tug and they'll pull off. These are still very green. Oh no, there it is. Okay. I was looking for you and I thought somebody took off with you. There's a nice big one there, but it's got a hole in the side. And I picked up these and so far they seem to be working. I have three of them. Two over here and one on the other side of the yard. I did have it in with the grapes and after I took it out the grapes disappeared. So they definitely work. Who I need to water you? What are you before I go anywhere else? There. Here's the other little plot of corn. And I keep flooding it, but apparently it's still not getting enough water. But we're tasseling and we're silking. So there's hope. This one would be a lot easier to pick. It's right here where I can get to it. No. A couple of weeks ago, I put out more corn and then peas. Well, I got three corn plants. I figured try and there's another peach and another peach back there. Here's the little cherry tree. It survived. It's amazing. And the avocado is just going nuts. That tiny bit of acid rain. It says yay acid water. Not super alkaline bleachy water. Corny water. Anyone else having problems with their figs? Mine have been falling off when they're very small. And like these, that look like they're ripe that I really can't get to easily, the inside, they're hard and black. Anybody else having trouble with their figs? And the ones that I have been able to eat, they really have no flavor. They're very, very bland. 
And this was going on before Hillary showed up. So I don't know what in the world's going on with my poor baby. Oh, and look what I found. I haven't seen this particular one in years. I thought it was done for. So guess who's going to be out here trying to save seeds? This one is purple. I've had it in blue with the stripes. Oh, how pretty. Any seeds? No seed pods yet. It's bloomed. <laughs>